Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sevo TV. I'm your host, Miss Ledstill. I will be with Hurricane tonight again, and we are ready for map number two for Team Liquid versus SKDC. Map number one went in favor of Liquid, so SKDC has a tall order to fill here if they want to be able to make this a one-to-one -one tie for the night and walk away with a point. Really, it really is a tall order, and Liquid came to that first map very prepared. Let's see how they fare on Mirage as a... Uh, you know, this is uh, SKDC's pick, but Liquid gets a start on the CT side. And we have Elijah already creeping up middle. Tons of information gained here, but there's an SKDC player watching it. It's L, so they know they have that read, but they're not really in position to capitalize. Ruru gets a kill onto a player pushing up upper B. It was flow sick. So now they're out there, but SKDC making a lot of noise at A as well. This, this round is all over the place. First kill will go in favor of Ruru, though. Stewie2k is able to collect the second, so all the frags so far are in favor of SKDC. Now Stewie2k gets himself a secondary one. So Nitro and Elise trying to work by themselves here. Can Elise get a frag? He will get it onto Slemmy. That's going to help out, so it turns into a 2v4 now. Bomb rotating back. Oh, Elise going to be in position here. If he can hit the shot on the underpass player, he will take down Ruru. As Stewie2k gets himself a third, he's hunting for that 4k in the round, but he's going to hold on to the B-bomb site. Elyse now jumps off catwalk, going to wrap his way through the window into jungle towards the kitchen, looking to see if any terrorist is looking for him. There will be a terrorist there. That will be Stewie2k, the man with the 3k on the round, looking around the corner. Stewie2k goes down to 16 HP. Elyse is still fighting for it. It's going to be a tough 1v3. This would be essentially the ace if he's, well, not essentially, this would be the ace if he's able to get all the frags and win the round. Trying to hunt for the player at the bench, gets the first one, gets wrapped on by L's. Ends the round with a 3k, the only three frags in favor of Liquid, and SKDC will take a pistol. Kind of awkward round by both teams. Looked like SKDC wanted to do a fake at A, bring the bomb to B with three players. But Liquid pushed up upper B and middle, kind of making SKDC scramble a little bit and uh, thrown off the timing a little bit. They stuck with the strategy, which surprisingly still works. Sui 2 k getting tons of kills across the map. So we're going into an eco round. Liquid going all in. CZs, armor, nades, everything. So they're going to try to win out this round. There's no scouts or anything like that. It's going to be all pistol play. SKDC in a very typical uh, anti-eco situation where they're just one player watching ramp. And it's an isolated player. It's Ocean. Adren picks up that kill. Great pickup. So now Liquid have a read that they're just all spread out here. See if they can group up and, uh, and mess with SKDC. They spot L's in middle, but the bomb is rerouting towards A. There's still two players towards Liquid. But uh, I think the players at B need to do something a little bit more, get some more information, because they're they're completely unaware of it. So SKDC now is going to gear up for an A take attempt here. They have two players cheating in their direction. Adren will see one. He's going to make a call. I'm curious. There goes the B rotate. The player in mid is still watching in case it's going to be a split on the A bomb site. But that number two man of Fugly will be fully wrapping his way towards the A bomb site. Now Els will hit an AK headshot onto Adren. There goes Nitro in the lead. They had the advantage is all but gone. Elise trying to take down another one. He will get a secondary frag. That's going to force it into a two on two. So Fugly will with the P250, Elyse with the Deagle in his hand and a 2K onto the round. Still trying to battle it out, but Ruru is alive. There goes Fugly, and Els steps into CT spawn. Able to take down Fugly and Elyse. That's a 3K for Els, and SKDC stays perfect, but that's three rebuys. Yeah, but Team Liquid definitely went all in that round, so you can see their money is very, very low. And that situation, that 2-1-2, two -two, just how it developed, I would have liked to see Elyse just spam his deagle, make sure that, you know, SKDC is just completely focused on him. Fuck losing in a great spot to get some kills, but L's just snapped right to his head. We see some quick action here. Ruru going to A ramp, gets an early kill. There's two players creeping up on him, and there's... Backup in the form of Ocean right behind him, but he can't shoot at anyone. He picks up another one. Ocean picks up that next kill. Stewie 2 k got a kill onto Elijah. So let's take a look where Fugly is. He's in window room. SKDC completely spread apart. Just working the default anti-eco. Just making sure no one's pushing. And uh, they did a great job handling it so far. Nade right onto Fugly. And oh man, Fugly taking L's. But L's gets the better of him after that. Too much um, aim punch there. Headshot on him, and now we're seeing our first buy up here. Liquid 
buying up all Silence M4s. And how are they going to handle uh, this SKDC offense? And let's see what SKDC does right out of the gate. Sometimes you like to see a full A execute on the first gun round. So let's see how they're how they're positioning it. It looks like it's going to be just that. All five geared up right outside of A. They're going to do the full execute. And they're already playing retake. Liquid's already halfway up middle, for Christ's sakes. Getting tons of information. No one's there. They're playing full retake on A. So you better believe that there's going to be some players coming through spawn, coming through connector to help A. So into round four, it's going to be a buyout for both teams here. SKDC trying to hold on. Liquid trying to prevent anything. The smokes are going to be out. It's going to be that A-smoke strat here where they're going to try and lock down the players in CT and try and isolate the players in the connector. Not working out for them as Flosick, Nitro, and Adren all getting frags here. Finally, no! A frag not going in favor of SKDC. I spoke too soon. Nitro goes down to 1 HP as the bomb is in the bomb site. Ocean finally hits one, but Adren with a spray through the smoke is able to collect that frag. And Liquid was ready for that 3 smoke that came out. Or excuse me, that was the 5 smoke that came out. But either way, SKDC drops that gun round. Economy not looking the greatest for them. But they're still going to buy up into it. They're going to commit to it. Try and turn this into a 4-1 game over Liquid. Yeah, great round by Liquid. I mean, just perfect counter to what they're trying to do. There's full A execute. You want to catch people in the site when you're doing that, and there was no one in the site. It was a full retake from the beginning at Liquid. They seem to, on CT side, have a very strong focus on shutting this middle down. I like that. That's exactly how you need to play CT side on Mirage. And now SKDC just going for the complete reverse doing a full smoke execute at B. They're pushed up top middle. Fugly is at top B. Here comes the smokes. He's getting a call from his teammates, and there's going to be plenty of CTs rotating through Catwalk to help him. He's trying to work their way up into the B bomb site. At the moment, it's going to be SKTC. Stewie 2K gets dropped down by Flosick, and Flosick is hitting the spam perfectly as a trend takes on a third. Here comes Flosick trying to get in on the cleanup, but Fugly will be there to grab it. 2K for a trend, 2K for Flosick. Fugly gets the other frag. That will make it 3-2 to two as Liquid battles back. They're only one round down. Great double gun round by Liquid, easily winning the hard rounds of the, of the match so far. And, uh, man, they've only lost one player in the last two rounds. The money's stacking up nice and high. And, uh, you know, the rotates are on point. Just playing aggressive middle like that and SKDC just straying away from it in the way they did just gave them such a handle onto the round. Very easy rotate for Liquid to just completely stack either site because it's the, the strategy is completely telecast on this map. Per usual, there's lots of smokes that go over uh, really high walls, so you can see what's going on. SKDC just going right back to an A execute, and uh, there's actually two or three players focused on it from Liquid. Work their way in at the moment with the pistols in hand. They're going to try and get this bomb plant down. It should be coming up right now. And that's going to be Ruru able to get two of those frags. Too. He's also right in there. So Adren and Fugly are left. Bomb still trying to get planted here. It will get down inside the A bomb site. So it's going to be Fugly and Adren. Oh, man. There goes Ruru. There goes Slammy. And just like that, Adren steps into the bomb site, gets himself three, shuts down the round. And that will be another one in favor of Liquid as they tie things up. But a good eco coming from SKDC with the bomb plant. Dren did such a great job that round, not only getting three kills, but preventing the bomb plan from coming in too early, spamming through the smoke, made him reposition, then he threw a Molotov right next to the sight box, started doing a little bit of damage to him as, it, as the fire creeped under him, and then he just spammed the box and killed the bomb planner. So just doing so much of the little things that you need to in Counter-Strike, Adren is. So let's see how SKDC responds to all of the, what they've seen from the CTs. They're showing a lot more presence in mid, smoking it off, There's but Liquid is straying away from uh, the aggression over there. They're actually aggressing towards towards the B tunnels, which is the perfect spot. Ruru, because Stewie 2K got killed, is straying off from his normal lurk role and is going underpass, and Fugly is going right on Q, right past him. So he's going to be able to make a huge impact. He's able to move around a little bit quicker here, but he doesn't know how clear everything is in front of him. SKDC all grouped up outside of A. There's three players honoring it. Ruru right under window, so you better believe it's going to be a 3-1 split onto A. So round seven, 
One man is down for SKDC. Stewie 2K out of the way. They're going to be able to do a full buy. Adren almost goes down with the op in hand. Goes down to 23 HP. Stays alive here. And remember, guys, Fuck. in your SIVO MLG Season 7 Pro League. Oh, the big flank. As Hurricane just mentioned. Gigantic Whoa. flank right there. Able to get one. Ocean will drop him down. There goes Ruru to Flow Sick. And Liquid is looking on point so far. Through map number one, they took a win. They're trying to get the 2-0 tonight. Slemmy works his way out completely sequestered there on the balcony, taken down by Slemmy as Nitro on the cleanup crew. Nitro picks up two. That will be Team Liquid gaining the lead now on map number two. Great job by Liquid. I mean, they, they just have the gr the right mindset, and they've been their gambles have been paying off beautifully and really solidified them this half. I mean, you see plenty of middle aggression the first two gun rounds then they switch it over to beef there's no one over there fugly gets the nasty flank on them i mean he only killed one and a half players basically but still all that information like really helped out his team as they're just able to focus on one spot there's no question marks and now it seems like skdc just loves these straight up executes they don't fan out they're just they're just all about throwing smokes over the walls and going now we see the counter grenades coming in and uh, looks like SKDC is just going to run right through it. They don't care. Fugly jumping up on top of that van. Oh, trying to get Fugly. Kills as he can. And, uh, man, he's just surviving. I don't know why. Is there a smoke that we're not able to see? Because they're not even I'm looking a, at him. I'm, I'm assuming there is a smoke. Yeah, there had to have been at that point. Finally, yeah, Ruru will curious. take him down. <laughs> A liege on the cleanup, but Fugly with the 4k. Ruru is the only one to get frags. That's going to be a 2k in their favor. But SKDC can't get the bomb planted on that eco round. So Liquid will move up 5 to 3 as they have the gun. No, they don't have the gun advantage here. Never mind. Uh, T's only save one round in a row. That's not possible. Well, you can save two, but not likely as a terrorist. No, especially because they have the full money bonus now. It's five in a row. Um, they're going to be able to buy up pretty much until they until they win. So we see a little bit more of a of a fanned out offense. They're straying away from just the straight up executes as they have not been working. That's five rounds in a row for Liquid. The only rounds that SK's won is the pistol and the antico. So they've yet to find any success on their gun. Run. What's the adjustment? How do you get how do you get out of this t sort of situation? I think you try to set up. A little bit of a fake, throw out a bunch of grenades, send Stewie out there, get as many kills as you can, go B, but that's not the call. They have Stewie with an op, on, which is pretty curious. Um, going for, looks like it's going to be a fake A, so maybe not so much of a bad call on my part. Bomb is in B tunnels, and it's gravitating towards uh, Ruru in that underpass. The smokes are coming over. Dren gets that kill onto L's. Ocean still left, gets past the guy, and now Stewie is opping in the upper and stewie picks up a lie so the fake is 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 perfect fugly out of there but he uh, he rotated in a way where he hears the remaining skdc players so he's staying so kind of a misnomer by skdc they still need to find him ruru spots him fugly oh, comes out on top so slemmy getting the consolation at the very least gets the bomb down he needs to win this one-on-one -on -one. Oh, breaks him down to 14 and he still needs to win the fight nicely done ocean on the lurk and not looking at the right spot. I don't know what he's looking at. 9 HP gets out of there. This is a very strange two-on-two. So Adren and Flosik will be the two men trying to retake the bomb site, get the defuse here. Slemmy and Ocean. Ocean right there with a good shot, but Adren will take him down. So now Slemmy versus Adren. Adren has worked his way into the site. Hits the flashbang. He's going to throw away the op. He's got plenty of time to defuse this. Either he's going to win it, and he will get it. Slimmy can't get it done in time. A Dren with a gigantic 4K. Liquid will hold on and make that 6-3 to three over SKDC. But you were talking about what they need to do here and what I would recommend. Their A execute with smokes was great. Uh, they just couldn't execute in the site and get the frags correctly. So I would recommend on a buy round throwing that one more time. If it doesn't work, throw that as a fake work to be. Because we just watched Liquid bite really hard on a fake. Yeah, they did. They pretty much did exactly what I thought that they should do. And yeah, they just kind of lost that gunfight. Fugly just played that beautifully. Reacted to the kills. Started moving, but he, re he rotated through catwalk which gave him the you know enough uh, room to hear them coming in to be afterwards so just very very close you know game of pixels so to speak uh, uh 
just so so much uh, close stuff coming in from both of these teams. We see SKDC working more of a default than going for the straight execute. We see Rue under window. Ocean rerouting to pick up that bomb upper B. And uh, they're completely split up around here. They need to get some kills. Elijah gets that kill on to Ruru. No one to help him in mid. I just I don't agree with the positioning with SKDC so far. So Liquid with the one-man advantage so far. Ruru absolutely getting melted there by Ali. Not absolutely, I should say. Elijah takes 19. Uh, goes down to 19 HP to make that happen. Ooh, it's doing 2K and L's both hitting beautiful shots there. Trying to work their way through the connector. Low man will be Elijah. He hits two oh! and a third from the jungle. Oh my goodness, at only 19 HP, that's a 4K for Elise on the round. So Stewie2K is banking on the fact that Elise is still there. He's waiting for it. He's going to wrap his way around towards the bomb. Elise is not peeking at all. Takes a step out, tries to hit the shot on Stewie for the ace. Can't do it. Flowsick will take him down. And that is going to be another round in favor of Liquid. It is a CT-sided map, so this is not uh, very strange to see the advantage going to CTs. But SKDC really needs to find something that will work for them to get some rounds on T-side to have the hope on CT. Yeah, it's just been a lot of really good individual plays by Liquid. You know, Fugly getting a 4K on that B-side. Liquid finally look like they're going to lose a round, but then Elijah just comes out of nowhere and gets three kills at 19 HP. You prefaced that he was so low, and uh, it just didn't work that way. So we see, actually, a, a significant change in strategy from SKDC. They're sending three middle now, and uh, Adren capping one off. Can he get two? Flosick peeking catwalk with him. Spotted Stu Stewie 2K in the back. That's a Molotov to kind of force him out. Elijah takes down Slummy. Man, they are so focused on shutting down this middle, and it's working good. And that's going to be Elise picking up one, and the other one will go in favor of Adren, so they're holding on here well. Ocean L's and Stewie 2K left alive into round 11. They're going to be 3v5. Stewie 2K moves through the smoke. Elise there on the cover, even though Adren was up top with the, uh, with the op. Didn't hit the shot, didn't need to, as Elise was ready for it. So it's up to Ocean and L's to try and rush their way into the A-bomb site. They're committing some smokes. They're coming out. Hells will hit the shot onto Adren, and he's able to take down Elise as Nitro will drop the bomb carrier. Nitro collects the 2K, ends the round. 8-3, to three. Liquid has officially won the half. Yeah, great job, eight rounds in a row. This defense is stupendous for Liquid, looking very strong. Adren just moving around, making a significant impact, and then Elijah, man, is, it's just so hard to kill him on the CT side. Everyone else holding strong, hitting the shots they need to, and I mean... I mean, Nitro had such a great uh, last map, and he's just not even barely doing anything. That's just a testament to how skilled this lineup is for Liquid. So, we see SKDC. They're on a save here. Uh, look, there's armor up. They get the lurk already. Flowstick taking out the B player, and now we're seeing a straight-up A execute from SKDC. Two players honor it from Liquid. Trying to hold true here. It's going to be an eco round coming from SKTC doing anything they can. Trying to make it into the A bomb site, and they're getting shut down right now. Three of those frags go in favor of Flosik, the other two for a leash. And Liquid is on point so far on their CT side, only dropping those initial three rounds. They lost pistol, they couldn't come up big on the eco rounds, but ever since then, it's all been Liquid. And uh, into round 13, score nine to three. Liquid is looking very good. Yeah, just perfect uh, CT game planning for, for Mirage with the emphasis on mid. So Adren holding middle by himself, and now they're they're straying away from that game plan and the, keeping SKDC guessing. There's two players pushing up for B, only L's to fight here. So this is a great engagement for Liquid. Let's see how it pans out here. They spot L's. Oh, they get flow stick, but Liquid gets that trade. So they have some information a little bit. They they kill L's. They don't know how many more people are, are left at B. Um, so he's going to fall back, and the bomb is collected by Ruru. The rest of the players are set up in mid. Slemmy in the corner at at middle, actually a Dren with the op there, so pretty good engagements. Slemmy smokes him off. A Dren throws a Molly at him, so pretty funny engagement. A Dren on the rotate, going to going to window and SKDC gathering up. They're definitely going A. Into thirteen, Els is already down, out of the way for SKDC, or actually I should say for Liquid, 
And uh, out of the way for SKDC would be Flosick at the moment. It's going to be a four on four battle. So SKDC has a chance into this round to try and turn the tide a little bit. Uh, that magic number in my mind, Hurricane, that they should be looking for here is at least five rounds. I don't know if you agree. Yeah, four or five would be great. Definitely five would be magic. And we'll say four is, you know, junior magic. <laughs> As we have a liege taking down Stewie 2K, Ruru with two nice shots, Ocean and Slemmy. That's that fourth round, Junior Magic is happening. You heard it here first from <laughs> Hurricane's mouth. SKDC with Junior Magic grabbing that fourth round. That'll be nine to four. Liquid will still be up as we hit round 14. And now it's going from, man, we're getting crushed. Uh, hey, this half's not looking that bad, guys. Let's keep going. So they got four. They can ease. They can go into the next half knowing that they can lose pistol and still not be out of it. So let's see if they can, you know, pad that uh, that safety net a little bit more. Oh my gosh! Two perfect pre nades taking down Stewie. And now there's player back cat or back middle. It's, it's Slemmy. Um, and then a few more players for SKDC in lower B. Ruber actually pushing through. Very aggressive. Adren. Heard that noise, has the pre-aim, picks him off. That's a five on two. Elijah pushed a a ramp, gets a kill on the Slemmy. And L's alone in T-spawn. His teammate is in Palace. Liquid are all over the map. They have converged Oh, everywhere. the flank. Oh, it doesn't matter. L's will be able to hit it from T-spawn. Ends up taking down a leash. That's going to make it a 2v4. But Liquid looking to control this round. And I mean, the biggest problem with this at the moment is you just reset your loss bonus. If you can't hold on here, you go into round 15 on a full buyout with next to nothing in the bank. I mean, they got a little bit of money. The most that they have is in the hands of Els, who's still alive. He's only got 2,800. So this round loss is not going to set them very well. And you have players like Ocean, who's still alive right now. But he's got zero dollars in the bank, so he doesn't have a lot. They're going to commit to the B-bomb site. Trying to make their way out. Fugly with a nice counter there. Teammates are rotating over, and Flosick and Fugly will completely shut that down. Elige getting two. That makes it 10 to 4. And anyone who ever doubted the young gun in Elige, you are sorely mistaken. Yeah, I mean, he gets kind of checkered results on Terra's side, but that's what happens when he's playing on a team. I mean, you... When you judge a liege, you probably judge him by his elevate performance. Like, man, that guy was such a beast for him. Why hasn't he been able to do the same stuff with Liquid? Well, he's in a more reduced role. And from my understanding on elevate, he was the man on there. He, They just completely embraced him. Like, dude, we're going to base our team around you because you're that talented. Got everything he wanted. But now he's on Liquid where there's a same player, similar story, Fugly. And then Nitro is good himself. So it's definitely uh, a lot more, uh, you know, people eating at the table so to speak so we see a fake at b and they're going right to underpass to a so we see a nice fake else picks up a huge kill on a drench nitro still at oh, a man. flow stick on cat still a still denying that connector and slimy ocean need to get in, in through this connector they spotted flow stick put some pressure on him slimy just ignores him bunny hops through ocean taking tons of damage and now very strange two on three Slemmy's going to be the last one left alive. Turns his back to the window. The connector between the jungle and CT spawn. He gets taken down by Fugly, and that's 11 to 4 half in favor of Liquid. And they're looking very good right now. So it's all going to be up to SKDC to have that magical CT half that we've seen them have before. And what we were talking about uh, before, you mentioned it a bunch here, is the fact that Ruru hasn't gotten going. And at the moment in favor of his team, he's only two kills behind L's. So if we get Ruru and L's going here, maybe Stewie2K in the mix, they still have a chance at this. A pistol round would be momentous for him, though. I mean, all things considering, I mean, just to, just going into what Ruru's frag count is, that's pretty good for how SK's offense was. It's not like they were doing amazing, getting tons of entries. It was just straight up executes, and then he was left in an island basically alone after everyone got decimated. So... We'll see him on the CT side. I've said it before. He's definitely a better CT player than he is T. So watch his uh, frag count grow if, if SK can make a run here, and they need to win this pistol big time. Yeah, definitely. This is We talk about it a lot. Uh, big pistol rounds incoming for teams. This is one of them. 
SKTC's got the pressure on their backs. They have a full round buffer, so it's not horrible. But if they don't pick up this pistol round, and they don't pick up the two uh, anti-ecos after that, it's going to be a rough look. But Els puts his stamp on it. So does Ruru, and that's the plays that we're talking about. Ruru and Els at the A bomb site, locking it down. Bomb down. Slimy comes up big. Same with Stewie 2K. And that will be SKTC putting their stamp on that round. Thanks to Els grabbing those two initial frags. That's 11 to 5. Exactly what SK needed to start off this half. Great pistol frags by them. Shutting down the execute. Definitely making Liquid second guess that strategy ever again. Just too much, too much accuracy. And now Liquid feel like they're ahead of the game uh, a lot here. Going for a Tech 9 armor buy. And from the what you see from SKDC, you know, two or one SMG, three Famasas, one Colt. So they're they're definitely denying middle, putting basically doing a gun round setup um, on their on their setup. Liquid uh, is down from underpass. Looks like they're gonna try to do some boosts and things like that, and they nade right on top of them, but not, not a lot of damage. Els gets the kill onto Adren. Ruru is peeking out middle, looking for the boost. Oh, There's no. a smoke there. Spots one, spots two. Can he get the third? No, Nitro just spamming away. Flow sick coming out of the halls. Great lurk kill onto Stewie. And now it's all Nitro alone. One on three. Two players below 20 HP on uh, SKDC, so it's definitely possible. Ocean in the most immediate vicinity with 100 HP for Nitro to work with. They're all very focused on the connector. They know where he is. He's completely surrounded by every spot. He's come up big. Oh, man, almost spammed Slemmy. He's got three HP. Ocean in the ladder room. So many angles to clear. If you look at Nitro's screen, he is just doing 180 after 180, racking up tons of points if he was playing Tony Hawk. So he's looking for another Ooh. kill. Gets liquid. Gets a L's. Can he find Slemmy? Crosses catwalk. Oh, oh. so many turns of the mouse. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that Nitro right there, game sense, absolutely amazing, trying to do everything that he could there, aware of where his body was, aware of where the counter-terrorists were at one time or another, playing absolutely perfect. Uh, that was a great play coming from him, even though he didn't win the round. Uh, it looked really good coming from Nitro, and SKDC holds on for another round, making it 11-6. to six. So let's take a look at the positioning by everyone. Liquid all grouped up at B tunnels. There's a smoke on the other on in their way though, so they're probably gonna wait for it. Execute through it. Ocean hears him, drops a flashbang. His teammates at Catwalk needs to help him. It's Els and, and and him together, the dynamic duo. Here they come, coming through the smoke. They need to get some kills, and I'm not seeing any yet. Ocean Els picking up one each and now they're swarmed pistols are out no, no ammo left going for the knife kill was fugly but the rotate came in just in time no one dying for skdc and i mean they did go all in with the tech 9 armor buy so that second eco from them they did not have a p250 or anything like that if that was a p250 buy up we probably would have seen a little bit different results there. I think they yeah, should have probably close. tried that with a Tech 9, and it would have been a lot better. But hindsight's 2020. We're going into a gun round. SKDC sending a player up middle and then having cover from him from the, from the window. And Team Liquid sending a lot of people through the B tunnels. L's that player that pushed through mid, gets a kill into Elijah. Dren hiding. Ruru is with him. They are very established in mid. Adren trying to catch off the players off guard, but he can't capitalize. They're out of there through the connector. Nitro coming in from underpass. So let's see how this plays out. And this is one of the great things that we see from SKDC. They have a dynamic CT side that they use very effectively. Sometimes throw somebody a mid, sometimes it's two or three, sometimes nobody mid, it's a stack towards A, but they play it very well. I mean, right there, some damage goes out on the Stewie 2K. Ruru will capitalize on it, steps down, able to get himself a secondary frag into the round, and that will make it a four versus two as Flosick does take down Stewie 2K. But the dynamic play here on CT side of Mirage especially, uh, and coming from SKDC, works out well. Slemmy wrapping down through the top of mid, ends up getting himself a frag, bomb down into the connector. Now it's all at the flow stick. They know where he's at. He's going to get spammed towards. He doesn't really have that great of a chance at the moment as there's three CTs essentially peaking his position. And Els will take the headshot from the Silence M4 onto Flosik. That's a 2K for Els, two for Ruru. Other frag I do believe went to Slemmy. That will make it 11 to 8. Liquid's lead is shrinking. 
Yes, it is. This is a very, very CT-sided map, and SK doing everything they can to just maintain this momentum. It's four rounds in a row for them, and now Liquid grasping, trying to see what they can do. Looks like they have enough money from their from their uh, money bonus that they're just going to go for a more elevated uh, eco round, tech tech armor buy up, head armor in, and they're going to do a full A smoke execute. They're already in position, Molotov under the porch, they're coming out, and let's see how this execute works out for them. Gonna try and work their way into the bomb site at the moment, trying to get some damage done, but Slemmy is there to answer, the smokes are good, but the answer from SKTC is even better. Here comes Ruru stepping in, gets one, Els will take down Flow6, so now we have Fugly and Elise left alive trying to defend this on the eco round. There goes Elise, now it's all up to Fugly, steps out, and Ruru will get himself a 3k. Slemmy and Els with the other frags, that will make it 11 to 9 in favor of Liquid. Yeah, great, great round I think by, uh, by SKDC Liquid doing their execute, getting the bomb down, and that was pretty much it. It looked very hectic on their end. Uh, lots of good counter, counter flashbangs from SKDC. I saw the player playing behind Triple Box. I'm not sure which it was, but right clicked a flashbang in front of him and behind him and dodged both of them himself, and it blinded just about everyone on Liquid, and it just seemed like a bunch of headless chickens running around. So we see Liquid basically going to do the exact same strategy, but with guns this time. So I'm sure they felt a little bit, they felt successful enough that, hey, look, we can get into A and get this bomb plant. Maybe we just need the better rifling um, guns and, or just better guns with the rifles. But here comes the execute. Stu is actually pushing through the, through the ramp and Adren gets that trade. So they have early information. The rotates coming in from SKDC. Molotovs everywhere. Smoke's covering lots. Let's see how it plays. Fugly and Elise are able to pick up frags. Oh, that's a good opener for them. That's going to make it a three versus two as Slemmy and Els will be on the rotate. Liquid trying to grab a 12th round. And we're actually going to have Els on a huge flank attempt here. If he can get through the palace and get this frag, they might think that he's down towards CT, possibly working through uh, maybe the jungle. But uh, Dren now, look at that game sense coming from him. He works his way into sandwich. He's looking up top. Looking for the head, he sees the head, hits the headshot with the AK, and Team Liquid will get a 12th round. That makes it 12 to 9, and they held well on that take, and then the retake prevention from Liquid. Yeah, great job. After plant positions were on point, and as you mentioned, just great game sense by Adren. The, you know, sometimes just these newer players just forget about the flank, and it uh, takes an elder statesman to to get the job done. So great job by Adren. We see them working a little bit more default setup here. They're putting Flow Sick to Lurk Palace. Two players working B tunnels, actually very quick in the upper B side side of things, and uh, Adren holding middle with with a. A, bar, a partner right below him. So what is SKDC doing there? They're pretty focused on mid here. They've boosted Slemmy up. There's a player in connector. Only one player for A. So there's actually three gravitated towards B. And luckily enough for SKDC, Liquid has the bomb towards that B side. So it could definitely be going into a trap. So now still five on five battle into round 22. CT's all over the catwalk out in the mid. That's going to be Ruru who steps down to look into underpass to take down Nitro. Fugly will go on to the trade out. So it's going to be a four on four battle here. Trades going evenly at the moment, but mid control exercise by Liquid. Something we haven't really been able to see uh, too aggressively unless they can hold on to this, but they do have that mid control. They did get that frag to even things out after Ruru was able to make his way out of the connector down in. And it looks like Liquid's going to actually rotate this back towards the A bomb site. Time left on the clock won't be much considering they're trying to walk for the second. Nope. Now they made the bomb switch actually. I believe that was between uh, Adren and Elise. Adren trying to work the op. Fugly already in the connector, but he does have a CT in the window dropping down. He's going to get flanked here unless he can get out. Can't make it happen. Els will take him down. SKDC trying to battle their way back as Stewie hits a shot, Els hits another one, so it's all up to a trend, can't hit the op shot. I believe he actually legged Els right there. Not quite enough though, Els gets two, Stewie gets two, that will be 12 to 10. SKDC battling still to try and tie this up within two now. Great money reset by SK to come back into this match. 
Uh, Liquid definitely need to follow up that round win with a win of their own, but looks like they're going to force up. They know that the, the situation ahead of them, SKDC has been winning these rounds and have been stacking that money up, so they need to keep the pressure up. Going right back to the round that, or the strat that won them their single round on offense, which is straight up A execute. They're going to do a quick one here. Smoke's over, Flash is over. They're just going quick. No shenanigans. And uh, let's see how SKDC can defend. Right, hold on here. That's going to be Ruru gets the initial shot as Elise jumps into the uh, into the sandwich there, makes the shot down onto Ruru. That's going to make it an even trade here. As Els is going to drop it. He's got to look for the bomb planter. Finally sees him. Can't get the shot off in time. Flowstick takes him down as the Lees removes Slummy. There's 2E2K and Nitro going off respectively for their teams. So it's all going to be up to Ocean on the rotate. Now into window towards the jungle and a leash hits the op quick scope headshot. Or well, I guess it would be considered a quick scope even though it's not a real quick scope anymore. But he gets the 3K and Liquid answers back, making it 13 to 10. Great job there by uh, by Liquid. Just I, I love that gamble by. I think it was great. Kind of the stuff you can pull off on Mirage. You can be in complete safety and throw these smoke executes. So. You know, Tech 9 is basically the perfect weapon for for an A execute as you get a lot of those really close mid-range fights where you can get instantaneous headshots. Liquid working very quick middle here. They're already close to connector. And uh, SK doing the same thing that Night Liquid did last round uh, by buying up really early here. Nitro coming in with the op instead of Adren. I saw him defer to him. So kind of an interesting setup here. Dren, very mobile, seeing a lot of stuff. He's actually pushed up the ladder. Gets a great kill onto Els. Flosick gets a lurk kill onto, onto uh, Ruru there. And there's a lot of action going around. So we're going to have... Oh, no. We're going to lose Slemmy there. Ocean and Stewie 2K left alive here. Liquid trying to turn this into a 14 to 10 matchup as one player is isolated at the B bomb site. He does have the number three man of Nitro in between him and Ocean. But Stewie, great position. Oh, he needs to hit that shot. He desperately needs that. Hits the secondary one, makes up for it. Shooting towards Fugly. Now he's just got to hold on, allow his teammate to rotate over. But the jump shot comes in from Fugly as Nitro will pick up a 2K into the round. Stewie 2K only one to get frags for SKDC. And Liquid is going to be on to close to match point or the round that should be match point as SKDC is going to have to go on to a save. Yeah, great round wins by Liquid. And... Yeah, SKDC forced up that last round. I don't agree with that buy-up. I think you, you would rather go into this round with a full set of equipment, and I think that's pretty much the difference. The win, not the tie. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, uh, But it didn't play out like that. Gamble did not work. SKDC pushing through a ramp. They have three players all grouped up. We're going to see if they're going to catch Liquid doing an A execute and no dice. Nothing over there. They all back up. And Liquid just very fanned out here. Throw throwing a lot of stuff towards B. Bomb's still down, so they're just trying to make a read, find out where they're at. Elijah <laughs> coming up huge. Those three players that we mentioned that are pushing A ramp, they're all halfway up to heaven already. Oh, Adren man. picks up another kill onto Ocean. It's all up to Slemmy. He's at the van. He's completely surrounded. Liquid just crushing SKDC that round. Elijah, great recoil control, great positioning. And it was just too easy for him. So now let's see how SKDC responds here. We see the buy up. They have no kits actually. No one is going to be able to defuse very quickly on this on this uh, SKDC squad. They buy up the M4 silence. No one with head armor. Only one smoke and a few flashbangs to work with, and it's just scrappy. So now SKDC forced into a hero situation. They have to play for the tie at this point. Els is making his bid for it, though, as Fugly takes down Ocean at the B bomb site. Els is up middle, gets himself two. Bomb is down in a location that's uh, advantageous for them at the moment. So now it's going to be up to Fugly. There goes Flow 6. So Fugly and Nitro, only one's alive. Nitro pulls out the pistol, will take down Stewie 2K. That's going to be get a two on three battle. So if Nitro can get an op shot here off one of these CTs, getting a little too aggressive possibly the number two man of fugly working his way around can he make something happen working towards that window at the moment they're checking all their corners all their anger angles wow angers checking all their <laughs> todd anger williams making sure he's not in the server fugly gotta look up though towards the ladder 
Ruru open to the shot. Doesn't matter. Ruru moves away from it. So Fugly still looking around. Doesn't see anybody at the moment. They're all relatively hidden. He's going to throw them all top to burn out. Slemmy, he's got to look up top. Ruru is right there. Doesn't matter. Slemmy will hit it. So SKGC looking poised to try and take their 11th round. And they will do it as Nitro will just go for the op save here. And SKGC will hold on for at least one more round with Liquid still at match point. Yeah, great job um, by SKDC. I love the positioning by all of them. Great cover. And oh man, Ruru anticipating. <laughs> oh but, goodness. But Nitro anticipating as well. It's a nice shot. Everyone from SKDC way out of position. They're not going to be able to get that off out of Nitro's hands. Um, but yeah, great job by SKDC. I mean, you're on match point. You're barely able to buy, do something aggressive and gamble, uh, and that's exactly what they did. They had two players jump out the window, push up top mid, start off with L's getting two huge kills on those players at Liquid trying to take over middle together, and uh, really just solidified the round for them. So great job by SKDC, but oh, man, this is such a tall order for them to win out. It is CT-sided. We see L's pushing out window again. He's going lower. Pop Flash comes in, sp gets one, gets two, and oh my gosh. This guy, you were talking about, he's he's making a case for himself to be the hero. This guy is Superman at this point. Oh, it's Ren getting a ton of damage done to him here. And SKDZ, if they can hold on for this round also, ah, not quite into a safe situation. Liquid's got a comfortable lead. They could save for full money. As Ruru is able to take down a Dren, Ruru grabbing another one onto a lead. Close it, last one left alive, gets Stewie, but Slummy comes in from what used to be the E-Box. Now the stairs at the A-Bomb side, outside connector will get that frag. That will make it 15 to 12. Still match point for Liquid, so SKDC, if they can hold on here, they only have a few more rounds left. Three round wins, and they force an overtime on map number two. Yeah, but here we go, Liquid still able to buy up. Flow stick getting a tech nine though. So we're gonna see them go into this A execute. What's the read from SKDC? Looks like they've read it absolutely beautifully. They have three players honoring the site. They're not even looking at middle. It's a quick execute. They're gonna go through the smoke. Ruru's pushed up at A ramp. Look to see if he can get some kills. Oh, he's completely blind though. Unless they could collect this, this would be bad, but Elise will get it. Elise gets a secondary one and Liquid. So very close now. They have that man advantage. Stewie 2K in the bomb plate will hit one. Els rotates his way over. And Stewie picking up two. Els picks up another two. So now it's all up to Nitros. And this would be a save for them into this next round if they can't get the win here. Nitro has to hero. 1v2. Ocean tries to peek out. Nitro will get it. Now it's all up to Els. Els steps out from the exact same spot. Ocean just died. Nitro was not expecting that. He goes down to L's. That's a 3K for L's, a 2K for Stewie 2K. That makes it 15 to 13 as we hit the 29th round here. And Liquid just barely able to get that pistol buy off with some armor into it. SKDC is going to force this to the last round of regulation. Man, I wanted Liquid to win that round because it would have meant both of my predictions would have been correct on this. So... <laughs> I know, a little selfish of me, I'm sorry, but man, SK looking good, very resilient. I mean, how many rounds have they defended? That's three match points in a row defended by SKDC, so, you know, they have a good read. It's an A fake, folks. The rotate's coming in. There's only one player towards B, and Liquid is completely rerouting. Slemmy, the closest rotate. Let's see how he's faring with it. He's already into the market. Another player there. So SKDC doing great. Ocean Ooh, just doing ugly. a great job dodging around. Fugly able to pick up some kills. Flow stick answers back, but SKDC already rotated. They need to get this bomb down. Just take the consolation. But Adren's actually in a good spot here. Can pick up Ruru. Gets that kill, but oh man, the bomb is not so out of position. Catwalk, and he is just too far away. That's going to be a 14th round in favor of SKDC. A trend will save himself that body armor, the Rec 9, a flashbang, and of course that silenced USP. So equipment value right around uh, 5,700 for that. So that's a good save for him. But we are going into the final round of regulation now as Liquid trying to collect the win. SKDC trying to force this into overtime so they still have a chance to get the win. So let's see what the setup is here. Looks like Adren going with his op in Palace. Going to probably try to get an angle on the jungle after he makes sure no one's pushing him. The rest of Liquid all right around the uh, right around the A ramp side. There's actually no lurk, so it's definitely going to be an execution. 
execute on B. I don't know if they're going to telecast it, though, with smokes over. I believe they're just going to group up, try to come out the ramp, and really surprise them. But it looks like they're second-guessing it now. Fugly is rerouting with the bomb um, on a Dren towards that B bomb site. So it looks like they just wanted to make sure no one was pushed Palace. They're going to make a ton of noise at this A ramp and uh, see where they go from there. Well, now Dren's actually moving back. Too much anticipation in the caster's curse. Um, yeah. so let's see how they, how they, go. Uh, yep, they're just dead zoning right out. There's no one looking as they're just so used to, used to the execute coming over, but Ruru on the rotate gets the kill on the stairs. Flow stick in the site, picks him up. Nitro picks up a kill on the L's and Fugly is in middle getting a fight with, uh, Slemmy. It's going to be a hard fight for SKDC. Music burned out though by Stewie2k. Now we have Slummy out in mid trying to fight Fugly as Nitro takes down Stewie2k. So Slummy very low. Nitro is going to have the angle. Doesn't matter. A Dren will hit it. So it's all up to Ocean on the ticket booth. 1v3. He's got to try and make something happen here. Drops into the bomb site. Still trying to find a Dren. Can't get him. Now he gets him. But the spam is coming through the smoke. So drops a Molotov down. That's going to shut down a Dren. He's going to throw the smoke down. Throw a flashbang out. Drop another flashbang. Does he go for the ninja defuse? Can't find the bomb though. Actually works his way into the, underneath the balcony and Nitro will take him down. Liquid will win both maps now. That's a 16 to 14 victory for Liquid on map number two over SKDC in very, very close fashion. Yeah, great job there. Uh, Liquid just hanging on strong and SK fighting for their lives. Just great resilience by them. Great performance by uh, both teams, in my opinion. Uh, SKDC definitely. definitely needs to get, go back on the drawing board for their dust, too. But on Mirage, they look very sound, very good game plan by both teams on this map. And I'm uh, not surprised that the scoreline was very tied up. Yeah, uh, dude, the SKDC plays very, very well on CT side of Mirage. I think it might have been a different story if SKDC could have started out uh, on that CT side. They weren't able to make that happen. Didn't get enough rounds on T side themselves. But their CT sides are pretty strong here. They battle back really well. T sides need a little bit of work, but no big deal there. I mean, you lost a Team Liquid who's looking very, very good right now. You would not be down, or I recommend not being down on yourself at all if you're uh, if you're SKDC at the moment. I mean, they're such a good team, and they played well. They just didn't quite play good enough on Dust2 to make it happen for them tonight, but they were so close to getting that map number two win. Yeah, very close, man. Uh, but, you know, well played, both teams. Uh, I can't wait to just see more of this SKDC team just uh, get better and uh, continue going strong. I mean, I'm, I'm very hyped about them because – I'm comparing to where they were last year, uh, yeah. last season, and this is night and day how much better they are. So I hope they continue to to keep this uh, lineup together as just, it's the right mix of players. Uh, but man, Liquid's looking good. They're they're on the verge, I think, to be in the contest for you know best team in America. They did beat Cloud9 in a, in a in a final just not long ago in the ESWC quali. Uh, they there was a few DDoS uh, issues uh, on the side of Cloud9, but Man, they they did look pretty good um, against the you know the team that's considered number one. So uh, looked for them to continue to grow, and uh, I'm sure there's plenty of good Counter Strike ahead of both of them. Definitely. And real quick, guys, before we get out of here tonight, thank you guys for tuning in once again. I know we don't do it enough, but I have to give a big, gigantic shout out to our observer tonight. Truck, truck coming in, observing very well, trying to get that observer stuff done and underway. He's doing a great job at it. And also Alex, our producer, guy is here day in and day out producing for us, making it so I don't actually have to control the camera. <laughs> and uh, I can just sit back, relax, and cast. Sorry for the cam turning off right there, guys. We just turned it back on. Are bad about that. We hit our limit for a minute, but we got the cams back. But again, yeah, thanks to Truck Truck. Thanks to Alex, our producer, and our cameraman for making it happen. Without those guys, that'd be a lot tougher on us as casters to bring good content to you guys. But thanks to them, they allow us to uh, do our jobs effectively and just focus on the casting part of things. But you guys got to watch a good best of two tonight. I'm misled. That's Hurricane with me. And we're going to be back tomorrow for another best of two in North America. And you guys have more games coming up on the EU. So make sure you don't go away for that or maybe go away, go to bed, go to work, whatever you need to do. Make sure you tune in for EU. Make sure you tune in for North America. Thank you guys again. Get on Vulcan. Get your fantasy esports, your, 
your itch scratched on there. I know I have to be on there all the time. I'm pretty sure Hurricane's right there with me. It's unbelievably Absolutely. retarded addicting. I can't stop doing it. Even I, I got a problem. I'm going to have to email Vulcan and tell him to cut me off because <laughs> it's, it's getting out of control. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for us tonight, guys. Thank you so much. And get us out of here, Hurricane. Yeah, thanks for thanks for tuning in, folks. Lots of Counter-Strike coming in. Tons of EU uh, content coming in. Uh, I mean, over there, there's plenty of good Counter-Strike. So tune in tomorrow with us on Sevo, and then we'll have some more North American action. Get on Vulcan, just like he said. Get a little bit out of every match. It's so much fun to pick all these players and, and root for just individual guys. It's kind of weird. Normally, I'm sure you're you're used to like, oh, go Liquid, go go SKDC, <laughs> but like deep down, you're like, go Ruru and go yep. Adren. <laughs> so you just want them to both get 4Ks and then just save out so that they don't die, right? and you just yep. you just get alternative motives to <laughs> to root for. So yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone, and uh, looking forward to some more Counter Strike for everyone.